These Bloomington teenagers are shining bright in show choir. Kennedy High School's Rhythm and Gold is receiving accolades. But as their season ends, they are facing one final challenge. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, it's the hurdle to prove they are the best of the best. And there's no mountain to hide. It's passion. No it's emotion. Oh. It's show choir at Kennedy High School, and these are the captains. How would you describe what show choir is? Uh, I would say show choir is like singing and dancing simultaneously. Devon came from basketball, Ellie from volleyball, and Oliver from theater. They all found their way to this growing genre. Devon, what do you love about it? I feel more like a family. There's a bond here. Oh yeah. I'm my happiest on stage when I'm like doing a dance break. My head isn't clouded, it's just free when I'm in show choir. There's nothing entitled about where they come from. They want to work hard, they want to be good. And they are good, really good. For the first time in 15 years, the team qualified for nationals in Branson, Missouri. You qualified for nationals. Oh! <laughs> and then he said, oh yeah, we're going to nationals. We're like, there was people crying. I, I was those people crying. Like I'm like, no way. But the celebration coincided with a situation. Nationals are April 1st. To spring on our families, hey, we qualified for nationals, which is super cool, but by the way, we need $1,000. That's just not reality for the kids that we see. They need 60000 total. They've already raised 35000 They're just such a good group of kids and they a lot of them come from very little um, and so to watch their faces when they experience success together is it's really cool. Turns out teenage drama can be a really good thing. In Bloomington, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The Kennedy Rhythm and Gold Show Choir is raising money on their website. They're also raising money at their grand finale show this Friday and Saturday. Tickets are still available.